Hi, I'm Gina Kunath with ICOM America. Now that we have a general idea of how DSC works, let's take a closer look at an important feature named Group Call. Group Call is a way to use a DSC radio to call multiple radios at once, also known as one-to-many call. This is an advanced feature available on all ICOM VHF radios equipped with DSC, like this ICOM M504. In order to contact the other members of the group, all members must have the same group MMSI number programmed into their radios. Like individual MMSI numbers, group MMSI numbers must be assigned by one of the several official sources in the U.S. Visit the CTO or Boat U.S. website to receive your group number. Group call numbers represent only the country that has assigned the group call identity. Foreign ships will not be able to use the domestic assigned numbers. Let's try making a group call now. It's almost as easy as making a telephone call. You scroll through the call listings and select the right group number. Press the key. And there you have it. Now look at the LCD display on this ICOM M604. If all my partner skippers have programmed their DSC compliant radios with the same group identity, everybody gets the message. The optional command mic 3 that's available for the M604 offers full radio control, including DSC. The same information that appears on the display in the M604 also appears on the command mic 3. On the back of the command mic 3 is the DSC activation button. The button is protected by a spring clip cover, which offers protection against accidental activation. Some manufacturers' covers are loose and pop off easily or get stuck and need to be pried off. Either way, their DSC covers are prone to getting lost, not ICOMs. With command mic 3, you have more places on board your boat to utilize DSC. It's an automated, private, and highly reliable means of staying in touch for personal communications, as well as information that is critical in helping rescuers find you quickly in an emergency. Remember, for U.S. waters, you have to log on to Boat U.S. or CTO's website to obtain your MMSI number. This unique nine-digit number is like your telephone number in U.S. coastal waters, rivers, and lakes. It means other parties can call you directly, and in an emergency, the Coast Guard knows immediately who is calling. Once you've obtained your number, give it to the dealer when you buy a new radio, and they'll make sure the number is properly programmed into your unit. There may be a small fee for this service. If you already have a radio, you can program the MMSI number yourself by following ICOM's recommendations outlined in the owner's manual. You should also make sure your radio is interfaced with your GPS receiver, so the radio is always up to date in terms of your position and the time that position was valid. To issue a digital distress message, lift the protective cover and press and hold the distress button for 5 seconds. Your radio issues the digital distress alert on channel 70 and waits for acknowledgement from a Coast Guard shore station. If it doesn't receive the acknowledgement quickly, it retransmits the digital alert at five minute intervals. Any DSC equipped vessel or shore station within your radio range will receive the message. When the shore station acknowledges your distress, your radio automatically retunes itself to channel 16 for follow-up voice communications. If you have a DSC radio, you're required to cruise with your radio turned on and monitoring the distress frequency. If a DSC alert is detected, your radio will issue a distinctive distress signal. Be advised that a boater should never acknowledge a distress alert on channel 70. That's the responsibility of a shore station. You should cancel the distress alert and monitor the communication between the distress vessel and the Coast Guard. You might be asked to render assistance if you are in the best position to respond. The shore station can use DSC technology to pull all of the vessels in the vicinity of the emergency to determine who is closest. If after five minutes there has been no acknowledgement of the distress, you can respond to the distressed vessel by voice on channel 16. So, that's a closer look at group call and distress messaging. 
Next, we're going to demonstrate how to make a position request. You can find out more about our ICOM Marine radios and where to find an authorized ICOM dealer by logging on to our website. Thanks for watching.